When I was a sophomore in high school, St. Joe's in West St. Paul, my parish started a youth group. And I think I've mentioned this before, but the first year there was only about seven of us that went every single time. It would be my brother and sister and a couple other people as well. And every Wednesday we'd be there. And it was a great time. I actually enjoyed it. I learned a lot about my faith. But there's always an awkward time at youth group. It would be kind of the, the time to praise God with, with music and songs. And they want us to sing out loud. And remember, I was a sophomore in high school. I was a, I was a football player. I was not going to sing any praise and worship songs, even though there's only seven of us there, because I wanted it to be cool. Now, of course, it would be the French Prince of Bel-Air, you know, entrance song. I could rap that with the best, though. No problem, you know. I could break it out anytime I wanted to. But when it came time to sing any praise and worship song, I will literally stand there like this. My brother would, too. So we're football players and be like, ain't singing. Ain't happening. Not going to throw my hands up in the air. I do care. I do. So we're not going to do this. Of course, we didn't want to be, you know, whack. We wanted to be cool. So we sat there like this and I felt bad for the person playing the guitar and everyone saying, come on, I'll sing along. And we just wouldn't do it. Wednesday after Wednesday, arms crossed, mouth shut like this. Real encouraging, right? Real rejoicing. But there we were, Wednesday after Wednesday. And of course, that summer, our youth group went to Steubenville, Ohio for the Steubenville retreat. It's like a whole bus full. As a matter of fact, just a little breaking news here. This year for Steubenville, we're not going to St. Paul. Nothing on St. Paul, but this summer we're actually going to go to Steubenville, Ohio as well. So if you're a high school kid, make sure to plan that. We're going to take a bus to Steubenville, Ohio. Yeah, we'll stop by an amusement park on the way back too, but that's not the important part. The important part, of course, will be the trip to Steubenville, Ohio. So plan that out. But anyways, we get there to Steubenville, Ohio. And there we are. And of course, as I said before, we walk down the hill because it was in a tent back then. Huge tent with, I don't know, about 2,000 people. And they were all singing. So I look at my brother, I'm like, I think the cool people are singing. So we should start to sing now. So sure enough, we started to sing these praise and worship songs. And all of a sudden, it was a different type of prayer. It was a type of prayer, of course, of praising God. Just being able to sing out these words that meant a lot more than the French Prince of Bel-Air theme song, or Eminem, or Snoop Dogg, or else we were rapping back then too. To have better words, and of course, being able to to praise God. And of course, with any type of music, you're always going to have your favorite song. So my brother Luke's favorite song back then was Mercy is Falling. I think the reason he liked it was he liked to do the motions. Kind of weird, right? But it was at a good time. Mercy is Falling, going like this. Great time. And one of my favorite songs, actually, no motions were required. That's why I probably liked it. But it talked about rejoicing and singing of God's love. And actually, I'd like to sing a little bit of the song for you today. And this is a song that I sing actually often in my head in good times and also in times where I'm struggling. So if you'll bear with me as I have you go through the penance of listening to me to sing, that would be great. But here's a little bit of the song, a little bit of the bridge, and then the chorus as well. Oh, I feel like dancing. It's foolishness, I know. But when the world has seen the light, they will dance with joy like we're dancing now. I could sing of your love forever. 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 Now, usually when I sing that song, a huge smile comes across my face, and usually I'm not as nervous as I was right then. Because usually I'm not singing in front of 250 people or something like that, or 300. Usually it's just me in the office all at, by myself, kind of singing that song. And maybe some praise and worship song is going on in the background as well. And sure enough, God's love overwhelms me, and I literally feel like dancing. And when no one's around, no one is around, some dancing may even break out because I'm able to feel God's love and just to sing out praises to him. Just a beautiful song, I think, of how we can sing with God's love forever because how great he is. And of course, we rejoice in this love. And this rejoicing is not only something that we get to do, it's actually what God wills of us to do. Our second, reader today, second reading today from St. Peter Thessalonians says, Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Seizing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. God's will of us is not to be like this. No. 
God's will for us is to be rejoicing. God's will for us is to smile every once in a while. Or as the missionary sisters of charity do, smile all the time. To rejoice in the Lord. Why? Because God is the light. As St. John the Baptist told about today, he was not the light, but he was there to proclaim the message of light. Light in darkness. As we light that third Advent candle this week. On Godate Sunday, realizing there's only one more candle to go. And this is a Sunday where we are able to come together and to rejoice because we know that the Lord is near, but that he has come already as well and able to rejoice even in the midst of darkness, even in the midst of struggle. This song that I attempted to sing for you today was also saying a couple years after that first Doomville conference, uh, at my dad's funeral. And of all places, you'd think, why would we sing of God's love forever at a funeral? But the reason why is because we had seen the light and that even in this time of struggle, we knew that God was there for us. So often, it is tempting in this world to give into the darkness. So often, we can say, this is going wrong, this is going wrong, this is going wrong. We don't stop to see all the great things that are happening in our life even in the midst of struggle, even in the midst of darkness, to know that God is there. Jesus came, of course, for what? To have victory over darkness. John's gospel talks about this through the whole gospel. Whenever Jesus is there, light is always there as well. In our life, in the midst of our darkness, is Jesus with us? Yes, of course he is. And because of this, we can rejoice Our first reading today as well talks about just being able to rejoice in the Lord. Isaiah says what? I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with the robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. God is there for us, and he wills of us. Not just wants, but he wills of us to rejoice in his love. In the season of Advent, we come to rejoice not because Santa's coming soon, not because of the presents that we receive, but we rejoice because of the birth of Christ, that light in our world. What Christmas is really about, as we know and have said many times before, Christmas is about the coming of Christ. And when we think about this, And we realize how much God really loves us. How much he cares for us. We cannot help but smile. We cannot help but rejoice. Not only say I will sing of God's love forever, but do sing of God's love forever. So often at the end of that song, when everyone else is singing the words, I usually change the words a little bit myself. And it's just one change. Instead of I could sing of your love forever, I sing I will sing of your love forever. So if you have courage enough, please join and help me sing this song one more time, just the chorus, because you can sing a lot better than I can, and then sing these last four verses with me again. I will sing of your love forever. 